Hey, what's up guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com and today we are going to replace the optical drive in a MacBook Pro with a hard drive and we'll be using a little caddy here that uh, you can pick up on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description if you guys are curious to uh, see what these are and they don't run too much. This was like $12 and so basically what we do is we can put this hard drive inside of the caddy and replace our optical drive in the MacBook with it. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the MacBook. I already have some of the screws out here because uh, this is immediately following the solid state drive install that I previously did. So you guys can go ahead and check that out. So let's go ahead and start by unscrewing uh, the few screws that I have in here. But there is 10 of them you guys and the back three are longer so make sure you remember where you take those from. All right guys, once you have all the screws out, you're just gonna lift from the back right here, this lift, and you can pop it off just like that. Also, make sure that you have effectively shut down your MacBook before attempting anything like this. Uh, you don't wanna screw something up. And there's a solid state drive that I just put in right there. So we are going to take this hard drive caddy, and let me open it up real quick and show you. We have this hard drive caddy right here, and basically what happens here is this hard drive fits in there, and it goes inside of the MacBook just like that and replaces the optical drive right here. Because who needs optical drive? Nobody uses optical drives. So let's go ahead and take this back out, and we're going to start by disconnecting the battery and then removing the optical drive from here. So let's go ahead and jump in. Alright you guys, so the first thing we want to do is remove this battery connector right here and if you carefully pry up on the edges of it, very very carefully, you'll start to get it to wiggle loose. You don't want to pull up too fast or too hard as there are pins under here that can break very easily. So be careful when you're taking this off. Just make sure that you don't, uh, you know, pull up too hard. Alright, so once you have that battery connector off like that, you can just pull it back make sure it's out of the way and it's not going to touch uh, the pins there. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove a few other cables here. And the next on the list is this little camera connector cable right here. Um, it's very, very teeny and it looks very fragile. So don't pull too hard on any of this stuff when you're removing these things uh, or else you will break your MacBook. So what you wanna do is take this little wire, it actually wraps around the edge of the CD drive and there's some tape here that's holding it down. Just take it and slowly pull it uh, parallel with the logic board. Don't pull up on it, just pull it parallel. Pop out just like that, it's really easy actually. Once you have that out there, um, we can just go ahead and set that off to the side. And then what we're gonna do is remove this guy right here. This is the airport and Bluetooth connector. And so we're gonna pry this one up off of the logic board as well. So just take, a, take your nail or a tool and carefully, carefully pry it up off of there, just like that. It comes off nice and easy and, and just kind of push it out of the way for a second. The last thing we're gonna do is remove the optical drive connector, which is this little guy right here. And same procedure as removing the airport Bluetooth connector. We're just gonna pry up a little bit on the sides, be very careful with it. These things are fragile and lift it out of the way and it does appear to be connected with some glue or like a sticky pad. So just be careful when pulling that off, make sure that you don't um, mess up the cable there. So now we basically have everything disconnected here and we can start unscrewing some stuff. So the first thing we're gonna remove as far as screws go are these little guys right here. And it's kind of hard to see them because they're both black, but there's one right here and there is one right there. So we're gonna go ahead and remove both of those screws. Be very careful with all this stuff, you guys. Uh, make sure that you don't screw anything up. So we're just gonna go ahead and take these screws right here and carefully remove them. Remember where you take all these screws out. Please, you guys, please remember where they come from so you don't have any trouble putting them back in. And then we're taking this guy out right here. All right, so there we go. So now we have this whole little part loose right here. We can carefully move this out of the way. Very, very carefully, you guys. Just kind of push it out of the way like that. And 
we have this part of our optical drive exposed now. Okay, from here, guys, we have three more screws to remove, and they're kind of hard to see, but one of them is right here. It's on that little silver part right there. There's two, actually, but one you'll, you'll see when you have your computer open. One is connected to the optical drive, and one is actually connected to the logic board. Obviously, you want to take the one that's connected to the optical drive out. Then there's another one up here, down in the corner up there, and there is one more down in this corner right here. So I'm gonna try to get these in the shot as best as I can for you guys. But we're gonna go ahead and remove these three screws. And you guys, it's also important to remember that these are torque screws um, right here. So you need your T6 torque bit out to be able to get these out of here. So you guys, once we have our bit attached, we can go ahead and start removing these screws here and just carefully take them out. And again, remember where you take all these screws from. They're very important. And make sure you have a magnetic screwdriver like this. It makes it a lot easier. Just lay them out in a fashion that you will remember how they went. The next thing we're gonna do is just lift this guy out of here. Just kind of lift it on the other side and you can kind of get it pulled out pretty easily. Just slowly pull it out of there. Don't try to rush anything. You, there's a lot of plastic parts you can snap in this real easy. So there is our super drive, you guys. That's it, we got it out, no problems whatsoever. And you can put this aside for safekeeping uh, for whenever you might need an optical drive, I don't know. The next thing we are going to do here is we are going to install this new fake optical drive. What we wanna do first though, we want to remove some of the components from our original optical drive. We want to remove this bracket right here, right there, and then we want to pull off this connector because obviously this goes on our new hard drive, optical drive caddy. So let's slowly take that out of there. Be very, very careful you guys, this small little connector. And we can go ahead and stick that guy right in the back of here, right in the back of our caddy, just like this. So go ahead and slide that in there, pretty simple. Then we're gonna put this bracket on here. So we gotta remove that from the original optical drive. So we're just going ahead and take our screwdriver here. This one's a Phillips again. So we're switching back to the Phillips. Make sure you get one that fits. And we're just gonna go ahead and unscrew this. Be very careful as to not get any dust or debris inside of your MacBook, assuming you're not working on it in uh, a dust storm or something. We're gonna continue by uh, putting on this bracket on the replacement here. And once you guys have that on there, this is how it should look with the backside up like that. Because we're going to place it down on there and connect it where that little hole is right there. So now we can go ahead and stick in the hard drive. On this caddy, there's four screws on each side. Uh, these are screws to hold the hard drive in place and you can see them right there. Uh, we wanna make sure that those are pulled all the way out enough so that we can actually get the uh, hard drive in place inside of there. So. Just make sure you have them out enough. Give it enough room so that you can put the hard drive in there. And we're gonna go ahead and place the hard drive in here like so, just kind of uh, putting in the back first. And then we can kind of slide it in there. And you'll see you get a nice snug fit with that, you guys. And then what you can do is take these little screws and you're basically screwing them into the hard drive. So. We're gonna take those and screw those in to hold that guy in place so that it's not you know, jiggling around inside of the MacBook here. So once we have everything screwed in and connected, it should look something like this, just like that. And then we can go ahead and slide this right back into where we found it. Just be careful, you guys. Try to have patience with this stuff. And there we go, it looks like we have a nice fit there. Everything seems to be in place. And we can go ahead and start piecing some of this back together here. Basically, if you don't feel like watching the rest of this video, just go ahead and put the steps in reverse, or you can continue watching and I will show you how everything goes back together. We're gonna put these screws in here that's holding the optical drive down first. Remember, there's three of those screws. There shouldn't be any wiggling going on here between uh, the optical drive and the MacBook. You should have a really nice snug fit with all this stuff. And it goes in there just like that. 
just how we see it. So what you want to do next is take this little piece that we moved out of the way earlier and we want to push it back down into place and then we want to screw the pieces back down. So remember when I said to remember where you took the screws out from? This is where that comes in handy. Take the screws and hopefully you remember where you took them from. And we just want to go ahead and screw all this back together. Same way we took it apart. I suppose you could play the video in reverse. So now we want to connect the two little connectors that we previously removed right here. And if you are unfamiliar with which connectors I'm talking about, then you should probably go watch this video again. And you guys, I forgot to mention, but don't forget the optical drive connector that's right there in the middle of that little red box. Make sure you connect that too. But let's just go ahead and press these down. Just be gentle with them. It doesn't take much at all. And then we are going to take this little cable right here. This is our camera cable and just wrap it around the edge of the CD drive and kind of just pat it down in there. It's got some tape so it'll stick. But we want to just connect it to this little connector right there. And it just goes in, slide it in parallel with the logic board as you'll see me doing here in a second. Just slides in parallel just like that be very careful with it because if you mess it up you won't have a camera all right so as you can see there I got it in just like that nice and easy go ahead and move the cable out of the way push everything down and now we're gonna go ahead and connect this battery connector again which is this little guy right here and you guys should all be familiar with all this stuff by now because I did go over all this in the beginning of the video and so if you're unsure about what I'm talking about now please go watch the rest of it and we're just going to go ahead and push this down nice and easy. Don't do it too hard. You'll bend the pins and then you won't have a battery. Other than that, everything is set up and ready to go in here. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see if it recognizes the hard drive, which it should. There shouldn't be any problems in this department. So hold on, you guys. I'll be right back. So we have the computer in front of us here. We're going to turn it on and make sure everything works. As you can see there, we have a, another Macintosh HD. If we go to Get Info, we can see that this is now the 500 gigabyte hard drive and we are good to go. So that's how you install a hard drive in place of your optical drive, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please rate, uh, comment, and subscribe. And you can also click this button if you'd like to subscribe. Our Twitter link is here. Our Facebook link is here. So thanks again guys, this is Dom from MacMixing.com and have a great day.